Hi YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark and I thought I'd, I wanted to do a little message. Here's Mr. Nuclear Man and here's Judy with her baby. I'm going to be doing more puppet shows. Um, this video is really about what I want to do is propose an anti-coercion day and I'm picking 9-11 and 3-11 because that's the two dates when most scientists and journalists and politicians have been coerced either through physical threats or with monetary uh, gain to keep their trap shut about the destruction of our planet. Um, let's skip aside the 9-11, my assertions about 9-11, but let's talk about 3-11. 3-11 we are having devastating effects from Fukushima being completely 100 percent ignored and downplayed by most of the media and that's directly because General Electric and Rupert Murdoch have a hand in both industries, in the nuclear industry and in the media. So they get to control what we hear and they also, through the universities, because now they fund the universities, they get to control what's being studied. So when Catherine Higley of Oregon State University comes out and says there's no more radiation than a banana and then the guy from Woods Hole runs for it until he gets his ass burned politically and he starts backtracking and other scientists say well there's not much radiation. I mean what did uh, Arne Gunderson say for a long time? Oh don't worry about it and then it fucking came out like is he a scientist or fucking what? Like uh is he a scientist? No, I don't think so. What do you think? Well, if he's a scientist, he sucks. I know, man. That's where we're at. And that's what I want to do. I'm calling this. I know that you guys are coerced because you're afraid you're going to lose your money or lose your life or something like that. But if we, my idea is that if everybody came out, it's kind of like a no work Monday. So the really, you know, the people in the apartheid states and in, um, that's what broke apartheid, that's what broke the bus stations when the black people refused to get on the buses. Uh, if you, if you all walk out in mass on one day, and I'm proposing 9-11 and I'm proposing 3-11 since those are the days when you got your fucking walking orders, that anybody who's in the scientific community who knows the truth who knows they need to speak out. Find a way on those two dates, 3-11 and 9-11, that just puts out a simple sign that says, I know the truth. We are not being warned. Uh, Beautiful Girl by Dana just published his photos. He just did an expedition up in British Columbia. And it is heartbreaking to see what he found, the lack of life, the devastation to the coast of the of the British Columbia coast and I imagine that that's going to start happening everywhere it's a little pocket maybe that's why because it was kind of inland um, you know every story that comes out on ENA news they are undermining the harm they under they under report it's like oh well we should have known you know what we're super sick of that so we want the scientists to come out and Speaking of scientists, let me get to this point, too. This thing with Helen Caldicott, with Kevin Blanche calling out Kevin Helen Caldicott and all this other stuff, and all the other people who were just fucking playing softball. I don't disagree with his premise. I do disagree with the fact that he thinks she's greedy. Uh, he heard that from her ex-husband. Uh, that could be the nuclear cartel paying him to say that. For all we know, Helen Caldicott's done a lot of work in the anti-nuke industry. Without her work, there would not have been so many people waking up. Why she is silent after her little symposium on the 13th? I was thinking that after 3:13:13 13, that she was just 3:11:13 when she did that those fabulous seminars. She fucking gangbusters on this every day. We need to be hearing about it every day. That's why all of us go to YouTube's every day. We need our scientists to come out every day and not just have your little assistant post up fucking responses on Facebook. That's what makes Kevin Blanche pissed off. Like, you're fucking done it all your life, Helen Caldicott. All your fucking life you've been after it. And now we need you more than ever to be out in public. And fuck with your publicist says. Fuck him. You need to be on the right side of humanity. I mean... 
Even Catherine Higley, for all her fucking lies, she knows the truth. She could turn around and say, you know what, we're going to start demanding real science. I refuse to work on things that tries to make it look like it's not harmful. How about let's work on stuff that where we can try to stop Fukushima or stop the shit that's happening up in Hanford. Let's put all our resources into stopping the fucking bleeding on our planet and figure out the science to help the people that are all going to get carcinoma, cancer, leukemia, Chernobyl heart, the young kids that are dropping dead of heart attacks, the skin lesions, I mean the shit that's happening to people. There is real effects. It's all been one fucking lie. So let's have an anti-coercion day. 9-11-3-11 because we know that you're not all going to come out so I think that I'm just going to start this little campaign. And Judy from Punch and Judy Mr. Nuclear Man and my other puppets, Punch. And I have a little poor guy. He's a monkey from the uh, Jap. I had him and I didn't put him up yet because it was kind of grotesque. But I, all things considered, I think I have to do a little skit with Mr. Monkey uh, because he's got skin lesions and losing his hair. He doesn't look good. You know, I thought it was too brutal. But since we've had that thing come out, about the monkeys, I think it's appropriate that I bring them out. So anyways, um, look, we need everybody in the fight and everybody needs to be doing what they can do. Everybody has talent doing something. And this is a huge fucking monster. It has been able to swing our entire civilization. If any of you do not know about the independent WHO, <clears throat> I think it's independentwho.org or independentwho.com. They are the WHO doctors, World Health Organizations, who got pissed off at having to be controlled by the nuclear industry. And they want to be able to publish reports about the real harm that the nuclear industry causes us. And honestly, they are an awesome organization. They have work that comes out that is stunning. But you know what? Not very many people hear about them, and it is up for us to get them out. That's part of the information. Get the science out. We need the scientists to come out. So, and we want the politicians to come out. Anti-coercion day. 9-11. 3-11. Until we get fucking money out of our destroying humanity. That's what you're doing. You're accepting money to destroy our planet. When you keep silent, when you're afraid to speak out, you're accepting it. So for this little baby and my little puppet and yes, even Mr. Nuclear Man, let's stop the nuclear industry and let's stop it. Stop it now.